Brian Powell of Ivor and Far with Ian Sharman of uh, the North Face. How are you doing today, Ian? Good, thanks. It's our uh, first chance to catch up in person. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just on the phone. On the phone, yeah, after your great run at, uh, at Rocky Raccoon this yeah, spring. I feel that may uh, overshadow me for many years unless I can do something you get even a, close to that. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty uh, stout achievement. Uh, was it, what was your time yeah. again? 12, 12.44. 12.44 for 100 miles on trail. Mm -hmm. It's pretty spectacular. Um, you know, how has that led into your season? I mean, that was February, so it's sort of, as you said, sort of clouded over everything. It, it maybe, uh, maybe forced me to race a bit more than I should have. Because you start thinking, I could do that, so I can do this. And you see what other people are doing, like Mike Wardian knocking out results every weekend. So I thought, yeah, I'll do that. But it, uh, it's kind of taken a bit out of me, I think, in the, the last few months. So uh, hopefully now I'm starting to feel a bit more normal. Good. I mean, yeah, you said you added it up the other day, and it's over... 900 miles mm. of racing, and I've looked at it, it was well over 500 miles yeah. on ultras themselves. So. Yeah, it's just a few marathons in there as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How many world records have you set this year? One. One. For a week before Mike took it. Yeah, tell us a little <laughs> bit of how, I mean, it's a little off topic, but tell us how you and, and I mean, you sort of started the you and Mike uh, superhero thing. Well, I've, I've done it twice before in, in the uh, Edinburgh Marathon, and I hadn't done it for a few years, so I thought that I might as well give it another go because. It was the first race back after a 100 mile so it wasn't too serious. Mm -hmm. So it was just fun to, to do something different. And then literally the day before I do it, Mike sends me an email saying, what was that costume you wore to do the superhero one? I'm like, don't do that, because you're just going to take it away immediately. <laughs> See, I, I planned to do a 240. I, want, I, I try and do my marathon very precisely at different times. Within an exact minute, actually, so right? So 240 was the exact time I wanted. And I knew he was easily going to beat that. So I knew the record would stand for one week. <laughs> so this is like a real Guinness World Record as a superhero costume. Yeah, well, real. Not, not as good as well, like a Gabri Slash. You'd like a 204. Yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, an official one they recognize, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, but getting back to the sort of trail and ultra yeah. stuff, what have been some highlights since your Rocky Raccoon performance? Um, most of the races have been highlights just in terms of being really fun to go to. Like I love Western States this year. Mm -hmm. Probably enjoyed it more than last year, even though it wasn't new to me. New to me because uh, I knew more people mm -hmm. and I just knew a bit more of what to expect. But I turned up feeling a little bit overtrained. Comrade had taken it out of me as well, and uh, so that wasn't ideal. But I felt like I actually that was probably the most satisfying run of the year because I felt like I got everything out of my body for that day. That's awesome. I, I don't think it was. I was prepared for it right, because I was overtrained, but I think I got everything out that I could. It's always satisfying when you get to the end and think, I've given it everything. Totally. So, um, you've said you've overtrained. What actually, you've raced 900 miles. I've you've over races. Like, yeah. how have you trained? Like, how do you structure your training along the um, racing? It depends on what the racing is, basically. So, if it's just before or just after a big race, it's obviously a, a few days of rest or not doing not much. Yeah. But I was purposely trying to get several weekends in a row of races just to build up the stamina for Western States and Comrades combined. I'm trying to do road and trail at the same time because they were so close together. Um, so I learned a little bit from that of what not to do for next time. Yeah. And next time means I'm not going to do Comrades next year. Gotcha. So what does it look like, you know, a couple weeks out from a, a race, if you were to actually have like a training period? What kind of mileage do you like, um, go at and what kind of like workouts do you well, mix in? A couple of weeks out from a race is, is my normal state <laughs> that yeah. It's not an unusual thing because I, I usually race every couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't do much of a taper. Like a one week taper is more normal for me. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't do huge mileage. I mean, 100 miles a week is huge for me. So I get a few weeks like that and it tires me out. Gotcha. But it's mainly the races of the training. So you don't I, do a whole lot of like far -like workouts or speed work or anything? I, like I try and get some of that in, but I'm often a bit tired from racing. You know, if, <laughs> if you've got to race on one Sunday and then another Sunday, you recover a bit by about Wednesday, you try and do something hard, and then you recover a bit by the race. Yeah. Which is okay as long as that race isn't too big and you don't care about it as much, but that doesn't work as well when you get to the big races. Yeah. Um, so do you end up training with people? You just moved from like Northern California, mm -hmm. great trail running community, to, to back to Ben, yeah. another great trail running community. Does that play in at all with your running? Uh, it means more trail running, because although I was near-ish, lots of good trails in the Bay Area. It, it's not quite the same because you have to drive a bit. And mm -hmm. Now it's kind of on my doorstep. And instead of driving an hour to be with a, a group of people to run, I can just, you know, five minutes away and there's, there's groups that are already set up. I can do lunchtime runs and training sessions with Max King on a Tuesday night, that kind of thing. So 
it's uh, generally it's a, it's a good community to be in, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm preferring being there. And I think it's better for my running as well. Great. Um, so, have you been in the city? Felt better lately? Does that mean you've taken some time off from racing, or have you had a couple of races that you know what well, peaked your? In my terms, I've taken some time off because since Western States, I've only done two races, so I've had about a month between them. Okay. And normally, that that's quite a big gap for me. But I, last year, I learned that um, I had one week weekend off after Western States, and then I did four weekends in a row of hard races, and that kind of destroyed me for six months. And how, what was that race? <laughs> and how did it go? Uh, I did a half marathon that I won. Then a 50 miler that I won. Oh, but this summer. Uh, oh. <laughs> this summer was just well, um, after 50 States. miler at um, Mount Hood. And so, how did that go? I uh, won that one. You, you won I, right I had a not not right oh, right 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 Mount Hood 50. Oh, Mount Hood, sorry. Um, yeah. So much smaller race than yep, totally. that. Uh, and then Waldo racing against Dave Mackey and uh, finishing a long way behind. <laughs> so coming into this race, you know how you're looking at it? Like it's, you know, I, I've just been on a little bit of the trail. I don't know if you've seen mm -hmm. any of it, but there I'm are some. Gonna, at least short, very, very technical sections mm -hmm. and a lot of hilly roads. Like, what do you th what are your thoughts on the course? I uh, I don't know. I, I'm not going to find out really how the legs feel until tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, it all sounds good to me. Yep. I mean, and th there's not any type of train I wouldn't want. The only thing that's a little bit worse than I expected was the fact it's raining. And I was hoping to just wear road shoes, so I'm not certain about that at the moment. Having been on the course, I'd recommend against that. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I have brought another pair anyway. <laughs> Um, well, uh, best of luck this weekend. Thanks Thank for you. taking the time to speak with us. My pleasure.